Hey, let's talk about The $100 Startup by Chris Gillibo. Now in this book, Chris analyzed 1,500 people who met the following criteria. They followed their passion. They spent less than $1,000 on a startup business. They currently make more than $50,000 a year. The business required no special skills and has less than five employees. He analyzed them, and there's a lot of stories in this book, and I'm going to give you the tips that I got out of this book. The first is that you have to understand the passion circles. So on the left is the circle of your passion, the stuff that you are purely passionate about, that you love of doing that you would do even if you didn't make the money and the other circle is the stuff that other people care about and where these circles intersect is where you're gonna make your money it's how you are going to get rich how are you gonna support your lifestyle you have to find something that you're passionate about because when the work starts getting hard you need something to push you and the only thing that's gonna push you is if you're passionate about it the next thing I want you to think about is Chris really emphasizes on keeping the costs low you should aim to put in more work more sweat equity and spend less money this way if the business has a flop you aren't as too much of a loss you only lose your time and you would have spent that time doing it anyways because it was your passion the next thing that I'd like to talk about is you know the famous quote give a man to fish he'll eat for a day teach him to fish he'll eat for a lifetime well Chris kind of analyzed this and he said hey you teach someone how to fish you're ruining a business opportunity but what he found out in a lot of these studies is that the businesses that did the best actually taught people how to fish one woman says oddly many unusual businesses thrive by giving away things recruiting a legion of fans and followers who support their paid work whenever it is finally offered. He said something you should think about when you are advertising your business, your product, is that whenever you mention something as a feature, it's something descriptive. It's something that can be described. However, when you mention something as a benefit, there's some emotional attachment to that. Are you creating freedom in people's lives? Are you making them happier? Are you making them work less? When you sell a product, try to make it something emotional. One example of putting in more sweat equity is the famous bicycle guy. He basically bought a whole bunch of mattresses, had trouble selling them, so he came up with this little growth hacker trick. He said, if you buy my mattress, I'll deliver it to you on a bicycle. There are actually videos of YouTube of this guy doing this. And because of the videos that he posted, he gained massive popularity. And he didn't really spend that much on advertising. He put in the work. He makes almost six figures a year riding bicycles to people's houses. There's a little bit in this book that he goes into like a 39 steps on how to launch a product. And he really gets into it. And I wanted to mention that because these steps are amazing. I don't want to cheat them out of the book and give them to you. But you can buy the book if you want to look into it. I also want to say that this book is great if you want secondhand stories of startup companies that started small. There's great motivation in here and you will get some awesome insight. I'd give this book a 7 on a scale of 0 to 10. I'd recommend it for any entrepreneurs or those interested in startup businesses. If you like this video, click the like button below. If you want to suggest another video, leave it in the comment section below. And if I see your comment and pick your book, I will ship the book to your house for free. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more!